clicked into this video because you want to know everything there is to know about Pokemon Scarlet Violet shiny hunting and we got all the information here. Now that I've finished the game, I've got all the information for you that you'll need to know going into Pokemon Scarlet Violet on how you can maximize the opportunity to get yourself some shinies. And Pokemon Scarlet Revoli revolutionizes the game, folks. You're going to be able to get shinies much easier if you know what you're doing. Okay, on screen is, of course, a lot of the footage that has already been released officially from Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Obviously, I cannot show you my own gameplay, but we can talk in detail about what I experienced. And I'm going to do that for you in order to tell you how to best get your shinies. So the game has outbreaks. That's a big way to get yourself some shinies. The outbreaks are not like Pokemon Legends Arceus at all. You are not really able to manipulate them too much. However, you can change what the outbreaks are by doing a day skip on the Switch. And in order to do the day skip, it's a little different from Pokemon Sword and Shield. We'll get into the videos and details on how you actually do it, but the summary is you just save your game, you close the game, and you do your day skip on the date and section in your settings, and then you open up the game again. That'll change the day. It will also change the outbreaks that appear on your map. So you will easily be able to choose what Pokemon you're hunting for that way. Second of all, outbreak numbers are extraordinarily huge. You can get up to 100 spawns in an outbreak. And just by doing auto battles, you'll be able to go through them easily. And apparently auto battles do not attack shiny. So you'll be able to see it come up. Your Pokemon will not touch it and you'll be able to encounter them whenever you do get the chance to do it. There's no risk to them at all. So you can just keep tapping R as long as you have a strong enough Pokemon to manage it. You'll be able to go through 100, 100 spawns. Not all of them are going to have 100 spawns, by the way, but you can go through all the spawns. There's so many spawns, and the chances that you'll get a shiny are pretty decent. The game's shiny rates are actually told to you in class if you are attending your school classes in the game. And it is 1 in 4,000, okay? It is 1 in 4,000. It's the same as always. It's the same for eggs, unless you're doing Masuda method, which is in the game. Now, that might not sound like great odds, but you can improve your odds in a huge way with a brand new feature in the game and that is sandwiches. You can make sandwiches that will give you varying level of strength, shiny encounter boosts. Yes, you can get level one, you can get level two, level three, shiny encounter boosts. And obviously the higher the level, the more powerful that power up is. And you can do that by making sandwiches. However, the sandwiches will require a special ingredient that is only obtainable via raids after you become a champion. So technically you can just focus on the gyms and once you finish the Victory Road side quest, you will have access to those materials for shiny hunting to make your sandwiches. And you will require using three of said items to make sandwiches. You can make the sandwiches to get a shiny boost for a targeted typing. It's not going to be a shiny boost for everything. It's a shiny boost for a certain typing. For example, you can get a power up for dragon, okay? You can get encounter power up for dragon so you encounter more dragons and you can get a shiny boost encounter for shiny hunting dragons too. And it will only apply to dragon type Pokemon that you will be able to encounter in the wild. Not only outbreaks, anywhere. So you'll be able to just run around the map and the odds you'll find a shiny are going to be very, very good depending on whether you have level one, two or three. It's still going to be improved. I'd say it's going to be much much higher the higher the level it is so it'll be super easy to get yourself some shinies the next good factor is the shiny charm is indeed in the game so you will be able to get that towards the end of the game again if you do all the stuff that you need to do for that without revealing too much and spoilers and whatnot but i think you'll be able to guess either way you will be able to get that and that stacking with the sandwiches is just going to give you shinies all over the place you'll never be wanting to get shinies ever again it's going to be super super easy this way so i will go in once we have the game out and released i'll go in and show you you exactly the exact exact details on how to do all the sandwiches, how to manipulate your raids, uh, or rather your outbreaks, and how to get the shiny charm in detail once the game is actually officially out. But the good news is the shinies spawn in the overworld Pokemon, so if you know what the shiny looks like, you'll be able to just straight up see it. And now I did just do a regular playthrough to the game, and I did get one shiny just spawning, and it was one of the new Pokemon too, so that's pretty nice. You will probably, most of you, find a shiny throughout your normal playthrough. If you're looking carefully enough, you might find multiple. I've probably skipped a couple because some of the shinies are not as obvious. And uh, you'll see what I mean when we reveal all the shinies. However, 
it was very easy to skip couple. So do keep that in mind. Make sure your eyes are peeled. Make sure you're looking out for those differences when you're going past all the Pokemon. And you will definitely find a couple of Shinies throughout your playthrough. Final details about Shinies is Masuda Method is indeed in. You can control breeding two Pokemon by bringing those two compatible Pokemon into a picnic. Yes, Ditto is in. You'll be able to get foreign Dittos. You'll be able to get the max IVs. Yes, all the usual items to control things around breeding are also in. You'll be able to buy them in shops. So breeding is still good. It's still in. You'll be able to increase your shiny odds that way as well, on top of the shiny charm and all that too. And people constantly ask this, the starters are shiny locked and the legendary are shiny locked however you can breed for a shiny starter i'm not sure about the legendaries because of the whole gender situation so we'll see about that but we'll still be able to do a giveaway for those in the future all right that's going to be it for this video preliminary shiny details for pokemon scarlet violet what do you make of it i'm sure a lot of you guys are pretty happy with what you heard hopefully you are do leave a like it's in order to get yourself some recommended videos from my channel more often and faster it tweaks the youtube algorithm for you in favor of you if you do like my videos so you get them better and faster and more reliably. Other than that, if you're new, drop a sub so you can stay on top of the latest news and information. We're going to be going into huge guides. I already got some good stuff planned up for Pokemon Scarlet Violet and uh, there's going to be a lot of cool things you can do, especially very early in the game. You'll want to see those videos. I'll see you around in the next one. Have a good one. Till then, bye!